Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's actually quarter past seven in the evening. Still very light outside still. Uh, we're still getting really long summer days, but I thought I would just pick up the camera this evening and have a little bit of a chat with you. I didn't really have like a specific video planned for this Sunday, but I thought I would just share what's happening in the garden right now um, and give you a little bit of an update on the flowers. So if you follow my Instagram page, which I would definitely recommend following because I'm trying to post there a little bit more regularly, I shared over there that I was selling my flowers for the first time this week. And I also shared on my kind of flower Instagram page, the business that I've called my flower side of what I'm doing here is called the patch in bloom kind of going along the theme with the nature patch but I'm really excited because my flowers were selling today at the Kayama farmers market I think that's what it's called yeah so I'm yet to hear exactly how many sold um, and I'll kind of tell you how I'm selling them and why I'm personally not there. But the way I'm doing this, I'm actually working alongside two other businesses. One is Coral Pea Organic Produce and the other is Whitbird Environmental, you all know. I do work with Jeff quite a bit, um, so we all kind of partnered up and we're running like a co-op market stall. So our vision is to kind of have organic produce, flowers and native plants um, where we can sell that to the public. So we're trialing it out, seeing how it goes and Kayama was the first market that we had this week. So we all had our products there. Um, I'll insert a little photo here for you and yeah, I'm hoping that it goes okay. I will update you as this video progresses on how it actually went um, and also me picking the flowers and what the, the bunches looked like as well. But yeah, I just wanted to share a little update on how the flowers are going and the fact that we are doing a little bit more of a co-op style market stall, I suppose you could say. And that's so that we can cover a lot more ground. We live in kind of different places within the region and we will each be kind of hosting a market or being the one present at the market where we sell our products. We're in early stages of testing it all, but I just wanted to share um, that is what we are doing so that we can cover costs and share costs and share like tables, the canopy, um, everything that goes into setting up a market stall. So I'm definitely hoping that is going to go well. Um, and yeah, I was super excited to pick my first bunches of flowers uh, to actually sell to the public this week. So I picked them yesterday morning and they were sold today. So I'll insert a little clip here of me picking them or before I pick them. I honestly didn't get too much footage because um, I was incredibly nervous. <laughs> I, you know, you go into the whole like imposter syndrome, who am I to be selling flowers and all that? And who am I not to be selling flowers? I need to keep telling myself that. It's something that I struggle with, fairly complex of my personality. Um, and yeah, this has been a really big step for me to actually move forward with a business idea and a business plan. So um, yeah, and I wanted to document it and share my thoughts here on YouTube. So I'll insert the little clips here that I have and then I'll come back and um, kind of just show you where else I'm at with growing flowers and um, what my plan is for the coming weeks. All right, it is pretty early and I'm not, I'm not fully awake. <laughs> But I'm going to start in this area here and pick some flowers, see what I can pick. I'm not going to film me actually picking them because I really just need to get that done. Um, and then I'm going to head down to the other area way behind there and pick some more zinnias, cosmos and more for you down there. And then, yeah, see what we can make this afternoon. Alright, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> this is all of the bunches that I have put together and wrapped up and I am a mess. I'm so like itchy and dirty from uh, picking all the flowers and this is the mess that I've made downstairs. Got leftover flowers that didn't quite make the cut in my opinion. I have been working on this. I have my paper roll, my stickers that I put together. They're really, really cute and yeah, mess everywhere. So <laughs> this is the situation. I'm going to go outside and um, just take a few photos. But yeah, overall, I am really happy with them. So 
so after I harvested the flowers um, yesterday and then wrapped them all up last night, I actually had to work today and the market where they were held was a little bit of a drive. So Lauren, I also do work with, she runs the Coral Pea Organic Produce um, store. She has a market garden and sells organic produce. We all work together with Jeff. So I brought my flowers along today to work. And because the market wasn't until 3 p.m., I had to deal with some flowers for the day. So they came with me to work and I work doing um, natural revegetation and regeneration work. We were working on cutting lantana today and it was quite hot. So I had to put the flowers in the rainforest area where we were working, which was kind of hilarious, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, they were kept nice and cool there and yeah, just enjoyed that nice little rainforest air before they went off to the market. So I thought that was kind of funny and that's probably how I will be kind of um, taking the flowers to work and then handing them over to Lauren to go to the markets if I ever do that again. Because with flowers they're so time sensitive you really need to think about when you're harvesting them, when you're wrapping them and then when you're selling them and that all happens really really quickly. You don't really get to have them stall for a few days or just have them sit aside. Uh, it's really fast paced which is something that I'm really learning about flower farming. So I will keep you updated on how the flowers went but I'm currently sitting beside some more flowers here that I have and I've kind of what I've decided for growing flowers at the moment also you're on my worm farm here so I'm having to kind of keep this level but if it's not level that's just because you're on the worm farm but yeah my strategy with the flowers is really to grow fast growing flowers that I know how to grow um, and that I can grow a lot of so I've chosen to just grow um, predominantly zinnias cosmos and basil uh, for my bulk of my flowers as well as Fever Few. I have quite a bit of Fever Few. I'm realizing that you really don't need a very complex mix of flowers to make an amazing arrangement. The ones that I made for the market today I personally thought they all looked beautiful and was really surprised at what zinnias and cosmos and fever view can look like together so of course i'm very new to flower farming um, but i would definitely recommend trying out those three or four if you are starting because i'm definitely loving what i can make from them and i will definitely be doing more succession sowing of them you can definitely still plant them uh, coming into autumn because they don't mind a little bit of colder weather so i'm definitely going to plant them I and mean, we've still got like what another month of summer so they'll be fine but um yeah i just wanted to share that they are doing really well i might go for a little walk and show you what my dahlias are looking like because they've started blooming i'm so you know I'm a little bit sad that I couldn't add any to the arrangements, but that's just how flower farming and most farming goes. You can't really pick and choose what the plants do. So this is a little patch of them down here. Um, they've all started blooming, so I'll put some overlays of what they look like. One of them is looking a little bit sad, the really large one, and I just think I prefer smaller size dahlias. I don't know, they're just a lot easier to grow in my opinion. and. Um, they last a lot longer so I think I am just going to stick to um, medium and small varieties I really do like the pom-pom variety that I have and my other favorite by far is the Ned Kelly um, I'll have to wait till they all come out but I, it's my it's like one of my favorite colors of flowers so I know I know it's gonna be a favorite I'm definitely excited to see what next week is gonna look like with the flowers um, whether I will do the markets or not um, or maybe give it two weeks or so we will see but yeah I wanted to just keep documenting the flower farm journey here on YouTube just do little videos here and there when I have the time and when I can update you all but for now I am super happy with how everything's going and I'm super excited to keep sowing more flowers and just really keep getting better at arranging. I will definitely do some more videos of arranging the flowers and putting them all together but I just really needed to focus this time um, and yeah I'll definitely in future um, show a little bit more about that but but yeah, for now you can just enjoy the beautiful flowers in the garden. I'm actually going to head upstairs now and go eat some dinner because I need to work again tomorrow. But I will pick up this vlog again tomorrow and just share what I'm planting because I'm planning on planting a few more seeds. And I thought I would share just a few things that you can plant at this time. If you are stuck for inspiration or just 
want to see what I'm planting in my garden at the moment. Right, it is a few days later now and I wanted to just wrap this video up, have a final little chat on how things went throughout the week of my first week selling flowers. Overall, it was incredibly fun and really positive. Um, I had a really good time harvesting all the flowers, putting the arrangements together, um, and I've actually met so many new people this week, which has been amazing. So all up, I sold five bunches. So four were sold at the market, uh, and one was sold at a local kind of bulk food store where the flowers went after the market. So all up from those flowers, I made $95, which I am very, very happy with. It was my first week ever selling them. Um, no one in the area really knew that I was bringing flowers, um, nor do they kind of know me personally. Um, I can really do a lot better with marketing and networking and meeting people and just being a part of the community a little bit more. I'm a very introverted person, so I find that really difficult sometimes to kind of, you know, just strike up a conversation with people about what I'm doing and whether or not they might be interested in having flowers in their shop or at a market stall. So it was a big learning week for me, but I'm really glad because the $95 that I made uh, paid for all of the equipment that I needed to buy. So I bought two really large rolls of craft paper to wrap the bunches as well as I'm having a look over there, um, as well as some uh, a bunch of jute twine to tie the bunches, some ribbon for Valentine's Day, um, and also part of the stickers that I purchased as well. So I'm really happy that that covered all of those costs and that hopefully from now on, um, I can start to make a little bit more profit and um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm also potentially going to be selling flowers in two different stores that are very local to me. So yeah, it was so lovely to um, meet some local store owners uh, who are going to trial selling the flowers in their store, see how it goes, uh, maybe do some pre-orders and do it that way so that I know um, that the flowers aren't just going to be sitting there for a few days. Like I was saying earlier, um, because they're so perishable, it's really important to have customers know that there's going to be flowers there so that they can um, pick them up on the day that I drop them in or I can do deliveries and do it that way. So it's a really good trial and error week. Um, I'm really happy with it and I'm so thankful for um, Lauren and all of the beautiful ladies that I met at some local stores. So next week and the week after, I'm going to be chatting to more market stalls and markets around to see um, if they will have us. I did actually chat to one who was a pretty hard no, which was really disappointing um, as there's already a produce stall there and they just weren't really interested in having flowers or native plants. So I was a little bit disheartened by that, um, but I know there's so many other different markets. So yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to cover for this video. Um, I am actually, yeah, looking outside right now and I do see lots of seedling trays. I was just gonna mention what seedlings I'm growing. Um, so I've started a bunch more Cosmos and Zinnias. Um, they're my two flowers that I'm really focusing on because I know that I can grow them quickly and grow them well. Um, and they will be ready um, before it gets too cold here. We tend to have a pretty mild winter anyway, so I'm actually just gonna keep growing them and see how they grow over winter in certain areas of the garden. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Uh, and I've also planted some sunflowers to do a late succession sowing of them. Um, they're not germinating fantastic, so it's a bit disappointing. I've also planted some more lemon basil as kind of a filler for arrangements, as well as some more fever few to see how that goes coming into the cooler seasons. And yesterday I sowed some slotia, I think that's how you say it. Also the globe amaranth, and I know I'm pretty late with this, but again, I'm just going to see how it grows, um, considering we do have really mild, uh, a mild autumn here. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to see how all of those go. I still do have a lot of flowers in the garden that I'm harvesting, lots of gorgeous zinnias and cosmos, even a few snapdragons still, and lots of beautiful greens um, and yarrow as well. I'll have a lot of yarrow next week, so I'm excited to see what I can make with those and hopefully maybe even dry some as well. 
So I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight into what my week looked like, my first week selling flowers. If you're interested in selling flowers or growing flowers to sell, I would really highly recommend it. I've had some really, really great feedback from uh, my community about the fact that there's not enough uh, locally grown flowers, not enough flowers that are chemical spray free, um, and also just supporting small businesses. If you can find a, the community and the network of other small businesses, I've just been honestly blown away with how supportive and lovely and welcoming all of these businesses have been. We all have really similar interests um, around minimizing our impact on the environment, um, creating as minimal waste as we can, um, growing fresh produce and flowers. Um, and yeah, they're just a really awesome bunch of people. So definitely have a chat around to cafes or local fruit and veggie growers who might be having a market stall uh, to see if you can also sell some of your flowers there too. So I hope this video was interesting. It was definitely a little different to some of my others. Uh, there'll be a lot more garden with me's and garden videos in the future, but I thought this might be interesting to those who are also interested in flowers and flower farming to give a wrap up of my first week. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, then make sure to give it a like and subscribe for lots more garden and flower farming content. Any interaction that you have with the videos really, really does help me out um, and also just tells me what videos you like to see. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And until my next one, happy gardening, everyone. Bye.